morning we found this beautiful little swarm here at the office. I think they've probably absconded from one of these hives we've got in the garden here. For the most part, bees are very docile when they're swarming. This is because their tummies are full of honey and they're looking for a new home. Even though they're quite docile, we still need to take precautions when we're handling the bees and keeping our suits on and our gloves, just for our own safety. If you get stung while you're handling a swarm, you know, it might frighten you and you might drop your swarm if you're holding on to it. So you've got to be really careful that you've got your gloves on. Just keeping yourself nice and calm keeps the bees nice and calm as well. Most likely what's happened here is one of the hives has become overcrowded. So the queen's taken off with some of her bees and they're looking for a nice new home. We've got this nuke box here. This is going to be a temporary home for the swarm just until the colony expands and then we'll put them into a full-size brood box. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this swarm into its temporary home. So we'll come down here. I'm just going to open up the nuke box and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out three of these frames just so we've got room to shake the bees in. Okay. It's really important to make sure we get all these bees in and the queen in especially. Otherwise, all the bees will abscond with the queen wherever she goes. So I'm gonna give these bees a nice shake down, like so. There we go. Oh, they're actually fairly quiet bees, these ones. Okay. I'm just gonna pop a few frames in here. We've still got a few bees on here, so I really want to get these in. They're all stuck in the flowers. Okay. And we'll put the frames in. I'm just going to close the lid and just check this just to make sure the queen isn't on here still. Otherwise, they're all gonna come back to this flower. I'm going to place this nice flower at the front entrance here, just so the, the bees that are left on there can find their way in through the entrance and into this nuke box. And they've all left the flower, so we know that they're all gone into the nuke box, into their new home. So this entrance hole here, this allows the worker bees entry and exit without being able to let the queen out. This next hole here, this will allow the queen out as well. These holes over here, these are the ventilation holes and generally they're in place when the bees are in transit, if you've bought your bees. Okay, the bees seem to be gathering out the back of the hive here. <clears throat> so maybe the queen didn't get in when we shook her in. So I'm just gonna have a little look and see if we can see her anywhere. They all seem to be on the outside of the box. Look at them all flying around. This may indicate that she isn't in the hive and they're swarming again. Let's just have a look up here and see if we can see where she's going. So I spotted the queen again and noticed that she'd swarmed onto a small branch just behind me. So what I've done is I went and grabbed a box from under the house and managed to catch the swarm and put it into the box here. So now we just need to transfer all the bees and the queen back into the nuke hive. So when I spotted the queen, I noticed she was really small, small enough to actually fit through the queen excluder at the front here. So I've set the dial to ventilation. This will keep the bees contained in the box so they can settle for the evening. So by the morning, I can turn the dial back around to this one, then the bees will be able to come and go in the morning. And hopefully by that time, they'll have settled in enough to want to stay. So in the box, I've put a little bit of wax just up against the wall. See all the bees on it? Hopefully this is going to help to keep the bees to stay in there. And I've also got a little cap of raw honey here, fresh from one of the hives. So I'm going to pop that in the bottom as well. So hopefully that will entice them to stay in the hive. 
One thing I forgot to do earlier was to put the new hive onto a besser block. This hopefully will just keep the ants off the hive and any other little insects that might be around. Okay, so I'm gonna move the nuke hive a little bit just so I can bring, bring this besser block over. Pop it into the position where we want it. So it's relatively flat. So I've turned the box around so it's facing in a north northeast direction for us here in the Southern Hemisphere. So we'll pop a couple of frames inside. And I've got my little lid of honey in the bottom, so hopefully that will entice them to stay. Okay, so I'm going to open this box now. I've got no idea what's going to happen. Hopefully they will have settled because I've left them for a little while, but we'll have a look and see, hey? I'm just placing it over here just in case the queen happens to be at the front somewhere. All right. Oh, here we go. Can you see that? I might just give this a shake. So hopefully we've got the queen this time, because if the queen's in there, then the bees will all stay in there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it here for the day, and the bees will stay and hang around here because they'll be able to smell the queen's pheromone. So later on tonight when it's dark, I'm going to open up the little dial at the front so the bees can come and go. So all the bees here, they'll head on into this nuke box where the queen is. These nuke hives aren't very expensive and you can buy them online and they're a really good idea to have at home because once swarm season does come around you've got one handy and ready to go just in case your bees swarm or you might even see a swarm in your tree in your garden. To keep up to date with all the latest episodes please subscribe to the Flow Hive YouTube channel and if you have any questions or suggestions pop them in the box below and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as we can.